to what's opening upon this earth – immense negativity. Not only it's killing people making them sick with viruses but the spiritual sickness. You see hate now propagated so much so that everyone took the characteristic of the TV and that's all the Dajjal wounded. These nafs have to be destroyed and brought down. And then the whole science of the nafs. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaitan rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. When we're describing these levels of the nafs, you're understanding the system of tariqah's guidance. Allah has put aside a treasure and it's, it's out for the public and shaitan is trying to take it. And what is it? It's the heart of insan. The heart of insan is all that shaitan wants. He's after everyone's treasure. He knows what Allah is giving to the treasures and the hearts of creation, so He wants them. He wants to bring them into His kingdom to steal their treasure, steal their rizq, steal their, their nafs and their good character. Everyone's born at the maqam of inspiration. You can't move, right? Your parents lift you, drag you, wash you, whatever you do, you can't do nothing, you're just like a cupboard. But you have two destinies now, either you're gonna go down to Amara based on your parents making you to be wild or the circumstances of the life that you're thrown into. They'll make you into Amara, will you go down and become wild, crazy, angry, violent and vicious? We said, nafs amara is the one that completely evil. When we read the characteristics of it, we understand it. Self-centered, doesn't care about anyone, doesn't care how it gets to any goal. Everyone, every, they climb over anyone's head. Then we see those characteristics, we say, oh okay, 99% of this dunya is nafs amara. Even the television show is just nafs amara. Or your parents inspire and guide you, teach you to the best of their ability to go up, to, to have inspiration, to understand goodness, have empathy within your heart, have compassion within your heart, to care, not to be judgmental, not to be against, uh, have a sense and a reality of muhabbat and love. As Salaamu Alaikum, we hope that you're enjoying the video inshaAllah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content, inshallah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels and donate. Every bit helps. Jazakallah khair and we will return to the program. No doubt Allah's greatness and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad immediately put everybody out of Amar. Very few are doing those type of activities and sitting in the majlis of zikr. But the virtue of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad pulled them out of Amara and majority are in Lawama. And the Lawama was good and bad, thumma ammanu thumma kafaru. One day they believe, next day they go bad, one day they believe. Next day they go bad but at least the consciousness within the heart is opening. It knows, oh that was bad, Ya Rabbi tawbah, tawbah. And then begin to learn the process of istighfar and, and all of the practices, why the zikr saves and why when Allah want to guide someone out of these badness, send them to the zikrs because Allah describes, hold tight to the rope. 
The rope are the turuqs because they're a line of nijad and safety coming from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And immediately the shaykhs are throwing a line, a, ra- a rope out giving the awrads, giving the zikrs, giving the nazar, giving all of the associations, giving help and email and every type of communication, hold tight to this rope. Allah loves you, He doesn't want you to come to the Muhammadan way, doesn't want you to come to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Why would Allah's love want you to be independent of everyone? He wants you to come to La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah in its reality. So then in that stage they understand the struggle between good and bad, most are caught into that stage. The third level of the nafs, mulhima, the inspired self that is leaning more towards positive, less in the negative, two-thirds positive, one-third naughty still there. But because of the practices and the spiritual practices and all that they're doing, you're opening up your system, you're being taught how meditate, contemplate, open up your faculty of thinking, of hearing, of feeling. The danger of that is if you're not building a strong relationship, that's why they say, if you're going to teach this make a helpline, help me at Nur Muhammad for this purpose. If you're going to teach en masse how to connect your heart, how to open your heart, then the guidance and the people who are listening have to have a firm hand onto the hand of the shaykh. Because you're now about to enter a dimension that you have absolutely no understanding with. Hold firm because they're gonna whip you around. If you should let go of that hand in the middle of this, many bad things have happened to people. Many bad things because they fall under the prey of their nafs, they end up in jails and psychiatric wards and crazy houses and they end up in the grave. No, no, you follow exactly how the tariqah tells you to do with the exact coordinates, you make it exactly how they do, you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't do marijuana, you don't do nothing other than what they taught you to do and you hold firm to the tariqah because in this maqam you're going to have inspirations, heart, feelings and energies. But you don't know, was it from shaitan? Was it… in the shaitan we mean all negative energy, the bad jinns, naughty jinn. Who's going to be sending you the dreams? Those shaitans, all day long, all day long until your whole life is dreams, 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 dreams. And you think them to be real and hundred percent false. So Imam al-Rabbani said, don't use that, this is the lowest state. It's a reality and prophecy but you're not a prophet. Mm. Means tell yourself, I want nothing to do with dreams Ya Rabbi, I want that which is real and live. So go back under the carpet and make your tafakkur much harder. Because you have to have good character, good manners and good actions. When the nafs is purified, it's doing its tafakkur, it left the oceans of badness and bad character, bad inspiration, it disciplined itself not to focus on dreaming, not to focus on on, uh, incorrect inspirations and a strong connection with the shaykh. Why? Because you get inspiration, they can impersonate anyone, just not Prophet and not the Kamil Muhammadan guides of which they're not but a one or two on this earth. So means this is deep in Islamic realities. If you run at these stages and go out for yourself to listen to yourself to every type of women desire from yourself, it can be very toxic. That's why then the firmness in the understanding and the connection with the shaykhs inshaAllah. Levels of the heart 
Lataif al Kalb by Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi. There are subtle energies and realities that are addressing the heart. This unique masterpiece invites readers from all faiths to step forward and begin the process of unveiling the true spiritual realities within their own hearts. With your generous support, we have helped many of the needy around the world. You can make a difference right now by helping us support those who need it the most. Give now at nurmuhammad.com forward slash donate. The fourth level nafs, inshallah, al mutma'inna. It is the self that has ascended to the first station of development towards intimacy, contentment, and love for Allah. Its refinement is attained through increasing commitment and through honest and sincere fulfillment of obligations, particularly with respect to human relationships and to the conduct regarding the acts of worship. The Prophet ﷺ said, The religion is in the conduct, and the best among you in character is the best in faith. So what is it? It's adab. If you see and you witness someone with no adab and think, no, they still must be pious, no, no. They could be representatives of unseen beings and their knowledge could be coming from those beings. So means it's what? The way is based on good manners and good conduct. The nature of their reality is soft and subtle, they're latif, they, they pick up and feel energies and they understand that the vibration and the tone, even their, the tone in which they speak has to be soft, never harsh, never sort of wild and crazy and screaming and yelling. The secure self has entered the pathways the methods and means of protection and healing through self-examination, resistance, striving and devotion. <clears throat> the self becomes confident that what is with Allah is better and more enduring than whatever is in its possession or in the possession of others. So the self becomes secure and ceases to occupy itself with anything other than who it has trust in. Every situation is under the control and this understanding is Tawheed. They understood everything comes from Allah Who are you fighting then? Who are you arguing? What is it that you're trying to prove in your argument? They understood because they're now witnessing Allah and everything. The one they're arguing back is more skilled and more powerful than you because the Divinely Presence is pushing you back. So then they understood just stay quiet, stay quiet. Have good character through this test because Allah teaches us, I don't change a condition of a person, of my servant until he change what's within himself. So what's the most typical? People want to move, they want to go, they say, oh I just, I'm, I'm, I want to go. But the problem is you're going too and you're the problem. It's not the location, it's you that's the problem. Unfortunately, you pack yourself in the bag and you go to the next place and you're still there. And Allah promised, I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to change any condition around you. It's actually going to be intensified now because you didn't seem to get the system. So they, they understood, no, I have to change. It's wholly about me. Ufa'udu amri in Allah, in Allahu basirun bilibad. That for verily Allah just sees my condition. And he won't change it until I change myself. Allah is the hammer and I'm the nail and he's sending every character to give a little hit, ding, 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 until you are ground beef. You came through the door <laughs> as a steak, as a fillet, do you know who I am? You know who my jat are, who my ancestors are, 
you know with my wealth, my status, my position, ooh that just means you're gonna have more grinding because the big stakes are harder to grind down. Had you just come and said, you know I'm just like a hamburger, nothing and no problem because with hamburger you just couple slaps and it's already ready. <laughs> They don't need to be thrown in the grinder. <laughs> Blessed be the weak and the poor. Why? Because they're already down to the ground. That was the greatness of Prophet we're not selling rows in our masjid. Prophet shocked their system by saying, no, I don't care if you're a king or a slave, sit in the row and pray with me. And they were shocked that they were sitting next to a slave, we buy the rows and everyone sit in the back. And the greatness of Islam and what Prophet brought, no, 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 I don't care who's a king and I don't care who's a slave, sit in the front and pray. And the best of you is the one who comes the earliest to pray. This was the greatness and azimat of Sayyidina Muhammad Knowing that no sickness in Islam, there's no money in Islam, there's, there's no way to buy Allah This is the first level of maturity for the self. The heart begins to shine with the light of consciousness. The ego's power begins to shrink so that purity, refinement, clarity and light dominate the heart. Now the self begins to show its true attributes that were previously hidden. These are the attributes of servanthood, helplessness, all power to Allah, humility, poverty, non-attachment, need and annihilation. You see that in your nafs in Ramadan. Right? So you're not going to ever kill your nafs, your job is to convert your nafs. He's Hezb shaitan he has to become Hezbollah, not from Lebanon. But he has to be with the party of Allah in which your nafs will work with you. Say, we're not going anywhere, okay I'm going to wear my kufi, now I'm with you. And you see that nafs in Ramadan. He says, he's, this guy's committed to Ramadan, don't matter if he's gonna die or not die. So he wakes you up, time to have suhoor man, we're hungry. And you see your nafs is helping you so that it doesn't stay hungry, doesn't go through difficulty, you're eating your suhoor on time, you're breaking the, the first person to break. Now he is under the command of his human soul, which takes pleasure in following the example of the Prophet He possesses the qualities which Allah praises. He is kind, generous, patient, forgiving, sincere, thankful, content and at peace. Every word which comes from his lips is holy, either from the Holy Qur'an or from the tradition of the Prophet or from the teaching of his soul. He is a teacher not only through words but also by example. Miracles which transpire through him he attributes to other causes, never claiming them, disowning them to the point of denying them. His every action corresponds to the highest. That what Allah want to open is the diya, so that your heart is lit and your face becomes shining and your being is filled with the secret of Sayyidina Muhammad Then the radiya, that return unto your Lord content in which Allah loves that servant and that servant immensely in love with Allah and it becomes an immense love affair that begins to open. As the secure self ascends to its Lord, the lights of the heart increase and fill the entire body, transforming the sensual desires of the ego to the desire for what the Prophet brought in the Qur'an. So love of Sayyidina Muhammad and this ishq and muhabbat of Allah a treasure wanting to be known and alhamdulillah Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah is the immense love and immense depth of the reality into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad start to open it. Because when you said before you're loving Allah and Allah is reflecting to you that, I want you to find me and I reflect my reality into the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And then they begin to move towards the love of Prophet Wasallam's nur and light inshaAllah the arwa wa nur Muhammadi Now hardship and ease are the same to it as are harm and benefit. So life and up and down no more, bipolar states have to stop. 
means bipolar state is that aesthetically happy when things are good and extremely sad when things are bad, right? Too much fluctuation in the character, no. When the reliance is upon Allah the firmness of the heart and the death of, of emotions to understand it is like a flat line. You're not excessively happy about anything and you're not overly sad about anything. You're flat line because you're content that everything is in Allah's hands. Today we'll be happy, tomorrow we'll be sad. Tomorrow sad, eh, tomorrow we'll be happy. Doesn't really matter, it's all going to be the same. The nafs al mardiyah the gratified nafs. This station is the last of the stations of faith and through it the self enters ihsan, the most beautiful station of excellence. At this stage the self is not only content with its Lord but also gratified by Him. The perfect man who has attained the level of deserving Allah's pleasure has lost all his physical animal characteristics from wholesomeness to a heart that is in total awe of Allah. At this stage the light of the heart is complete. The people of this station are also gifted with unveiling and miracles that enable them to call people to the love of Allah. He is compassionate, generous, giving, never asking, serving with all he has to bring others to the light of the soul and to protect them from the dangers of their nafs and the darkness of their worldliness. All this he does for the sake of Allah and in, in his name. Tariqah comes to teach us that if you're trying to reach towards level three and up, mulhama and up, it requires a khidmat. The only way to this treasure through the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad is a life of khidmat. Because that's the example of the shaykh that he learned from his shaykh and shaykh and shaykh and shaykh, live a life of service. Live a life of service in which you don't ask and don't ask to be paid for your service that I want this, I want that. No, 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 I, I just want to serve. If people give, alhamdulillah and if they don't, alhamdulillah Allah sent from many ways. So it's a life of service to receive that treasure and that that treasure shaitan is after the treasure of the heart. Be vigilant with our heart, be vigilant with the treasure that Allah has set aside within insan and their whole life was a khidmat and that khidmat opened every rahmah of their life because that was the good character that we started the whole talk with. The Prophet is describing these maqams are only good character to dress us and bless us bi hurmati Muhammad and Mustafa. وبسير سورة الفاتحة Insan al-Kamil by author and spiritual guide Shaykh Nurjan Marakhmidi describes that in order to be known the Divine created a sublime treasure for all of creation. The glorious light and soul of the Insan al-Kamil Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him. Vast universes including every particle in existence came into manifestation through this all-encompassing ocean of perfection. Order on Amazon.com If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK, as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved, providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, 
NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Muhammad.